think I hear phantoms too. Yep. Yes, the time has come. So have I. Oh wait, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Any advice? Good fuck. I mean, good luck. I'm sorry. All we know is that the cur the curse is very strong within it. You need to do this one, your own. Got speed messenger. Right, thanks. All right. I suppose that portrait means something. Well, that's representing a character of stars or what? Well, it's probably the love of his life or whatever. Now he's cursed. A visitor? I must be having visions again! Are you okay? I mean no harm. Probably. Intentions matter little. My tune must be played. It was faded. <coughs> Who are you? Did you get my message? The map? You mean? Or... How dare you trespass here! I'm here to help. You have been cursed. <coughs> cursed? It's all true! Then, isn't it? All of it. But you can end this now. Remove the mask! Preposterous! I shall make short work of you! I am not your enemy. You created the scroll, didn't you? <gasps> Impossible. How long has it been? Did someone really get my message? Enough! You will pay for your treachery! Listen to me, Phantom. It took centuries, but humanity never gave up on you. Lies, lies, lies! I am here to set you free. I shall have none of it! Prepare to die, intruder! Well, if you want to die so bad, I guess so. Alright then! So time to battle with Phantom. What? Whoa, okay. Didn't realize hitting that would change the time travel thing, too. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, the weird visual style change. So weird. Holy crap. Okay, I can see a thing to avoid. Take the opportunities you can while he's not attacking you to hit him. Oh, boy. I love Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ow. I guess... Managing to beat him with that one. Oh, great, it runs as a fan of the opera. Oh, God! Hey, it's bedtime time attack, but you also need to avoid all that shit! Oh, I can follow you until it hits you, so you need to grapple hook along, or rope dart your way along. Alright, so you want to pay attention to where he hits it and try to smack it back at him. Otherwise, you get damaged. He is running low on health slightly. Ah, uh, he's doing this again. Alright, he has to dodge the electric floors as well as those things. Unless you can hit those to make yourself cover. Oh god! Well, at least you can see the real one. Oh good, hitting him stops it. Okay. Not the no, can actually. Yet. Right, nice reminder you can jump. Might make some of them easier that way. Damn you! Get out! Son of a bitch! He keeps out for a long run! Got a rope dart across this! Woo, nice! Run! Gotta run again! Yeah, it looks like he really wants you to keep circling around. Don't let him get a chance to attack! Who knows what evil things he might do. That's right. Uh, Alright, getting close though. Oh! I see. You're welcome. 121 times. I see. They trick you a little bit. Now the smaller areas are your safe areas. Oof. Jeez, I wonder what happens after we beat this guy. Now, if I can actually hit this thing back. It'd be nice to see this thing succeed, but it definitely doesn't make it easy. Ack! What a jerk. You see, don't do time travel things to freaking. Oh. 
Huh. You clear up a wall this room, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was making sure. Whoa. What? Oh, that's some shit. You hit it, but it bounced right in your head. That's screwed up. Because I was going to say climbing on the wall would be a good way to avoid this, but now I look at it, it's probably not a good idea to climb a wall on the wall during this. Yeah, the wall is not nearly as helpful for something like this as you think. Right. Just electrifies the floor wherever you are. You can oh, the bugs do hit you! Damn it. Rod for it! Really hard to be able to get some packs on. You're better off just continuously running, yeah. There we go. Finally, didn't take damage. Just gotta keep being able to hit him. Yeah, looks like you just have to hit him as he's doing that. He's gotta hit the real head. Okay, stay in the dark zone. That was fun. Yup. I say I noticed that the last time you fought him. Yeah, that's that's a brutal one. The Ziggy ship tagged? Yeah, I wish. The Zigs are a lot more. There's less space in the Zigs than the Zags. What? I thought it'd be fun to try it the other way. I didn't suspect it wasn't gonna work. This one actually worked. If the attack goes on a little longer, I would have liked, but I guess it is supposed to be difficult. You could also just choose to avoid it. I feel like there'd be a reason to want to keep deflecting it, though. Hard to tell, though, you can't really get a good read on it. Of her in the past, but in the present doesn't really look like much of anything. Yeah, it's the same picture, I think. Yeah, just I guess it's the lighting, yeah. More advanced lighting. And the oh! Hey! God, I hate that. Yeah, I understand why. I never really needed our opportunity on it. Because frickin'. Ah! It's one you to suffer repeatedly. All because you can't freaking manage to actually finish the fucking out on. He blocks and blocks every goddamn time. Oh boy. Here we go again. Stupid tennis game. I love tennis. I love tennis. I love tennis. Time to run. That was a good idea to try to throw your stars as you go down there and then friggin' oof. Dodging that attack is definitely helpful though. He's probably gonna do the frickin'. He's gonna do the wall and ceiling thing again. Probably. Yep, stay in the dark areas. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! My goodness gracious! Come on, die, please! No! Yeah! <laughs> you didn't want to try and play? What the hell? Fuck you. That'll solve that. As long as I don't beat that and whatever comes up next in one run, that would suck. There we go, the person <coughs> mask. Take that, freaking Phantom of the Opera. Thank you. I. Are gonna die. The music box! No! All my memories! My love. Womp womp. This is bad. Let's get out of here! Oh, so now what's gonna happen? Oh yeah, all the staff that work for a freaking publish game publisher, Annapurna, resigned. They don't want to work for them anymore because of contract. I really hope they make it out of time. I'd really like love to meet finally meet Phantom. I'm so worried right now. What if the shopkeeper doesn't get there in time? I knew I should have gone myself. We're all here together. 
We made it. It's finally over. Oh yeah, so totally. No, it's Phantom! Do you want to try to tie with tower a tie challenge on the side? <laughs> Give him some time. He has had quite a ride. But I've been waiting for this moment ever since I was first given the scroll. You were the first one? Can't you just breathe? Just this once? Or you just give it to Oh here we go. What's wrong? The curse! The mask energy. I don't want to go back. I can't. Hmm? All those walls. Hey, you're safe now. Don't worry. Oh boy. It's here! It wants to take me back. Help! Oh, the mask. <laughs> Mode 7. Ow, oh, this is bad. As I fear, Phantom was keeping the curse's power contained. How do we stop it? We don't. It's full of force that's been unleashed. See, that's a play thing. We don't. We were, we were fools. That was the play all along. Let the curse, let the curse grow in power as we waged ultimately meaningless battle. Only to annihilate us completely when we thought we'd won. What are you talking about? Surely you won't all give up so easily. Yeah, we are. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. It's simple. We have to do the thing! The order is down to us three, you know. We're no match for such a force. Well, they tell you a fourth one. Everyone here has to tune to the scroll, so we should be able to do the thing! <coughs> right. Everyone! With me! You really have some sense of the thing, but alright, boy. I guess we'll all join him then. This would be really weird if this final boss had a different gimmick altogether. So we got the golem back again. Oh, match me. Oh, okay. Come here, come here! Oh, keep asking me! Oh, jeez. Oh, so close. Unless they don't let you win. Oh, there we go. All right, saying something. Well, there goes the mask. Supposedly. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> that's got to be a fake out ending. Because if not, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Let's do the thing. They blow it up, and that's the end. All right. Well, that was not the ending I was expecting. So that's the messenger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, that's the messenger. Jeez, that's so anticlimactic. What the? There's gotta be something more, right? That's what this That's just ridiculous. Oh, that's right, it's not a, I keep forgetting, it's an indie developer, so they don't have a lot of people. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country 2. I guess they're very inspired by that game? Hmm. Hey, that's one hell of a game to be inspired by. That is really random. <laughs> Yeah, that's... Where's the conclusion? This be the thing, that's it? <laughs> the world end now? <laughs> God damn it! Oh, damn. <laughs> the ass crew. <laughs> Dave Krause, why does that name sound familiar? Eh. I was like somebody else. I guess they have a lot of people in their corners to thank for all this, this game, but I mean, yeah. Oh, family's the last name in alphabetical order. But yeah, I definitely like the Metroidvania take this game after it got through the linear bones on early on. Once you had our abilities, it actually gave it the time to go re explore all the levels of your new abilities. I mean,. I will admit, it was a little annoying, basically, I have to re-explore the entirety of all the worlds again after getting all the abilities. 
where a lot of other Metroid games tend to let you just explore the world and use your abilities to basically open it as you go. Yeah, this one takes a different approach by just giving it to you all at once after a certain point, which can be overwhelming. And we just it doesn't bug me too much because at least it's a two... Um, 2D game and yeah. in a 2D game is a lot faster than some 3D games. We did still have to get the water walk ability though. The liquid walk ability. That one was the weirdest one because it just showed a, apparently I explored that part of the map but apparently I didn't, huh? Might have explored it before the uh, yeah. past future portals were open. Maybe that's why we got thrown off. That's probably it. But outside of that, I mean... In terms of finding a way through the game, I didn't really have to look up much else after that. Because mm -hmm. honestly, like, I know the game might be overwhelming because it's not typical to most Metroidvania standards. Yeah. But I still like it for what it is. Thank you for playing, Heart. Less than three, less than three, less than three. Jeez. It's so mean. Hey, right, yeah. So I'm ready to see him go to a turn-based RPG exploration style after that. And well, that's how everything ended. Wait, what the? Then the mass shatter into pieces and humanity was finally rid of the demon. That was curse. all a story the whole time. The end. What? Wow, talk about a long story. <laughs> well, you asked. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? I don't know. I can't afford any upgrades at the moment. <laughs> Well, do you have any other stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. It's called the Sea of Stars. <laughs> God damn it. Jesus Christ. To be continued. That was really the ending? I wonder if they wanted to make another sequel to this game, because I know they made Sea of Stars. Wow. Wow. Wow, I was really expecting more out of that, to be honest. Jeez, just took care of the curse out of nowhere, that's it. And you'll lock new game plus mode. Huh. Alright then, that was the ending. Shit, I was expecting more out of it. <laughs> God damn, it was all just a story the whole time. I guess that was just the twist. It's like, yep, that was just a big story to tell you. God damn it. I wonder if that character at the end, though, is a reference to Sea of Stars as well. The cowboy. All I'm betting is the la the person in the cloak is actually the ninja from the mess uh, from this game. Like, this is why I had to do. I remember all this bullshit. Let me flavor text it for you. I was going to scroll up with it. I wonder if he flavor texted all the demons that showed up. God damn it. I was really doing a lot more roundabout thing. Like... I guess the guy who gave me the scroll was probably the the shopkeeper the whole time, too. Yeah. That, yep, that was, I mean, that was a really interesting way to do it, but, uh, oh yeah, that, that was the end of the game. I want to make sure there was nothing else, that was it. Jesus. <laughs> that, that, that just caught me off guard. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's an ending. We killed the thing and we got to go home. That, that was some impact, just not the way I was expecting. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's the message but I'm Yeah, like. that's, but overall, I think this game is really fun. Because mm -hmm. you don't get, like I said, it is a little bit of a twist on the Metroidvania because it starts off with the linear stuff before it goes all out with the exploration stuff, which I know can be a little bit of a double-edged sword because it can be overwhelming, but right. for a 2D game, I think it's not nearly as bad because... There's only two dimensions to go through, whereas 3D games, you have to deal with the verticality and stuff. Oh, yeah, and there's not that many 3D Metroidvanias. Pretty much gone. Then again, 3D Metroidvanias aren't really a thing because those are just adventure games at the core. All we really got is Metroid Prime. That's about it. The Metroid Prime trilogy is like mostly it. There's probably like another one or two here or there, but... but I mean, that's why I say it. Like, I don't really count that because 3D adventure games do this sort of thing all the time. But we don't call them Metroidvanias because... True, I guess a lot of them evolve basically like Zelda-likes. Yeah, if anything, yeah, I'd say it's more like Ocarina of Time-like, if I want to call it. Yeah, basically you get trinkets to basically then be able to expand where you can go. Yeah. I've always thought that Zelda and Metroid have had a strong, like, similar relationship to one another. 
Now that I say it like that, that does actually make a lot of sense in hindsight when you look at it from that angle. It's just you have dungeons in Zelda games that give you like a test of like a lot of puzzles and stuff. It is just one concentrated puzzle with one concentrated gimmick. Yep. Where but they push it to its limit, which is why I don't. Where Metroid games, it's more just exploring the world and trying to get to new areas is the puzzle, and you basically walk into new upgrades to then allow you to go to new areas. It's a lot more streamlined, I guess, than a Metroid game. It's just not as much story fluff or not a lot. It's it's a much more condensed experience that just cuts out the dungeons basically. Yeah. You know, when it works, it's very memorable game. Honestly, Especially I could argue that Metroid is the best Breath of the Wild game that we ever got, Herdy. Or the Pride Trilogy is the best uh, Breath of the Wild games that we ever got, Herdy Dur. But now that we're open world! Metroid Prime 1's close enough. Yeah. I actually had to allow you to get things to expand, to just give you a tutorial, then you go do whatever the fuck you want and just. I don't know. I don't know. Fucking wandering or whatever the hell. Hey, okay, there's my um, roast of. Um, of uh, Breath of the Wild for the for a playthrough. Okay, <laughs> Gotta go. get one in every single game. <laughs> Jesus. Gotta remind the world how much I fucking hate that game. <laughs> Speaking of Zelda, there is Zelda 2 we can always do. I don't know if I'm looking forward to that, honestly. <laughs> I mean... Now, yeah, I'm the person who likes it more than Zelda 1, so, you know. <laughs> it's blind for me, and honestly, looking at it... I think I'm more spoiled by the Metroid. If you played old school Castlevania, else. you could if you could suffer through Castlevania 2, you could probably get through Zelda 2. I haven't played Castlevania 2 also is the thing. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> you're not helping your case. Damn it. <laughs> In fact, you're making it worse. Yeah, fair enough. Hmm. But yep, I did look up. There's no other ending. I guess New Game Plus, you just get to carry all the you items. You carry and all stuff. the um, abilities over. At least all the abilities, yep. Hmm. Or I guess all the uh, upgrades you get from the tree, I suppose. But then you have to get all your uh, actual, like, upgrades again. Okay. The original cycle increases difficulty. It also allows you to pick an additional item to be available from the start. Oh! So, so increases it. difficulty. Oh. And you can also make it easier on yourself. Okay, so you select one of those to carry with you. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's good you want to keep challenging yourself. Go further and further. I guess once you get to plus four, you basically have the ultimate difficulty. Yeah, huh. Maybe I will consider going back and trying this again later on. Well, it's a good reason to replay and allow you to actually take the time to grind the things you need for all the uh, figures. Yeah, but another thing about this game that I also really enjoy is that you don't really get to see many games inspired by Ninja Gaiden very much. Yeah, it feels like that has been a style of game that has dr died a lot. In the 2D space, especially. I guess, I guess it's more like, you know, where Ninja Gaiden 3D, they had a lot of that. I guess it, in a way, evolved to, like, what a lot of the Souls games are now. Yeah, because we had, in terms of 2D-style games, the only kind we had are, like, the Mario platforms where you jump on enemies. Metroidvania's out there. Ass. <laughs> Mega Man-style games where the focus is more on jumping and shooting. I think there is a new Mega Man X Lite that came out lately. I think it's Rogue Light as well. 30XX is what it is. Okay. I thought that was when they came out, like, very recently, unless that was it. Hmm. I haven't paid that much attention to the Rogue Light Yeah, stuff, I, so. I, I forget a lot of the stuff, but... Yeah. But, yeah, but those ones, but there's never really much of, like, a 2D hack and slash, if that makes sense. Or yeah. 2D close combat style games. The only ones I can really think of off the top of my head are obviously Ninja Gaiden games and Mega Man Zero. Yeah, yeah. Mega Man Zero are also up there. And, well, you also have your blaster and other shields. They basically evolve in a way. It was a lot more than just the basic platforming and sword combat. Yeah. I'll run through a little bit of this just so that we can both get our thoughts on how we feel about this game and other things that uh, we can talk about. So... It's nice to wonder where we started, too. Yeah. This game is really good, and I would highly recommend picking this game up, if you, especially if you're a fan of... Um, oh! Welcome to New Game Plus One. I hope you're ready for a challenge. All incoming damage increased plus one. Boss hit points increased plus five. Oh, okay. You will need to pay 50 time shards up front for me to save you, otherwise it's game over. Oh, jeez! Luck out there. Ah, that's the world. They expect you to get better. Yep. Yikes. Get good, you fucking scrub. Alright, so you want to get everything, might be better just to do it in the original game file and not do New Game Plus, but... Yeah. Well, New Game Plus is a good way to challenge yourself. I'm curious if they actually take away the, um... 
the other talisman. Or any other shuriken. Because so that's something more. Oh, she has to go out of your way to earn that again. And then we got all the, um... Oh, what you call yeah, it? Yeah, all the power seals, seals yeah. And yeah, maybe you do. They do like to keep all your main upgrades on you. So you can still do the game as if, you know, you're still exploring the whole world after you got everything. Yep. It's just weird they create like the first time. Yeah, like I said, this game, um... It's really good, and I would recommend checking it out. Because I'll be in the game, it's definitely one of the more... Because I think that... That's, like, when this game came out, this was a pretty good... It was a pretty good year for an indie game. Because you had this and also Celeste. That is true, yeah. It's almost 2018 or whatever, right? Yeah. It was a really good year for indie games. I'm trying to think of anything else that came out this year. Uh, that year. I gotta look that up again, real quick. I'm sure I can find something. About 2018 indie games. Because, yeah, the problem with Dead Cells started then. Yep. Donut Country, I know some people liked. Return of the Overdin, some people really liked. Gree, some people liked. The Baron Saga 3, I heard, is good. Kingdom Come Deliverance, I forgot that was an indie game. Oh, man, that game did look interesting. Yeah. Subnautica, people really liked. Yeah, I heard a lot about that. I guess that was official release. It was probably in beta for a while. Yeah, it was in beta for a while, I remember. Eight belt! That was... Yeah, it says that was actually 2019, but whatever. But yeah! There were a lot of indie games out here. Death Cells, arguably the most notable of them. Oh, Celeste and this, the turn they ever did were a lot of really big ones. Block Melee 2 was also out in 2018. And I've only played the first one, so. I played both of them. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. How do, you, how do you feel about this game overall from what you've seen it? I definitely really like it. It is nice to have a freaking Ninja Gaiden platformer basically like this on modern hardware again. I see this kind of gameplay get some love. More than just, you know, Metroid style or Castlevania style games. I feel like a lot of indies tend to go the Metroid go the uh, Castlevania route. Or the Gigavanias, whatever. Or the Metroid route. That's yeah. The route. Like we probably know say Yeah. yeah. Is, you know. Gameplay styles, people tend to go the Gigavanias, because a lot of them like to do like close like up close combat and stuff. It's also the fact that a lot of those um Metroidvanias as uh, the is that they have a lot of RPG numbers, uh, numbers attached to a lot of their mechanics as well. Yeah. That is true. That's part of why I really like the Metroid games above a lot of the other Metroidvania style games. Something like because of a long way weaponry, they make it so fast paced it feels like. That's what to me makes it work so well. I just like it because I don't have to sit here and um, worry about, you know, trying to uh, focus on the numbers so much. It's just, I have what I need, I just need to, you know, execute. Yeah, and yeah. And the, um, are, uh, but while there's technically some RPG mechanics, because, you know, you're upgrading your health and stuff like that, they're very fixed. As opposed to just being like, here, I can just pump uh, my numbers up uh, exponentially from one particular stat and just kind of brute force at a certain point. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's hard to do that for certain examples, but the fact that it's a thing that can happen is something that I always... That kind of makes me sort of... I don't want to say resent, but not as, look at them as favorably, I think is the best way to put it. Right, right. Because you can just crank up your numbers and it kind of just becomes arbitrary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can say that on almost any RPG, to be fair. Yeah. Like Final Fantasy is like all the damage you have stuck over the hundreds and thousands is like. Yeah. And you have games that just have things that go in the singles and doubles digits too, and they still feel really epic. Like. In that case, it's a little bit better in that regard because you can always just. Because um, when you do it in that regard, the numbers are smaller, so they actually mean a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That's another big problem with the RPG. That's another big problem I have with a lot of RPGs is that. 
the numbers get so big that after a certain point, they kind of feel meaningless when you see those increases or whatever. To be fair, a lot of traditional RPGs do suffer that from. That's yeah, uh, that's Final Fantasy games. Um. Oh, but Scarlet Arcade towards the end got like that for me a little bit. Yeah. But right. I know, like, some games that I also I really enjoyed is that, you know, like, the original cap is 9,999. Yep. You get abilities where it's like, oh, now you break that cap. I kind of wish more games did that sort of thing. Yeah, but they like to have that cap so you can't kill bosses in one hit and shit. It's like, oh, man. Yeah. What the point is our only power if I can't go above a certain limit? Like, shit. Like, I can understand if it's, like, a, a ability that you can get early on or whatever. But anyways, yeah... That's all I have to say about this game, but another thing is also, um, try Sea of Stars as well, if yep. you guys haven't, because... That is an RPG, it also doesn't have insane numbers, like a lot of the damage is whatever, that is doubles and triple damage, yeah. typically. If you're a big fan of this game. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say overall about this game. So, I guess next time, we'll figure something else out. Yes! So, thanks for joining us for The Messenger. It's King Sarkoshi. I'm MJ4906. Later, people.